In the realm of aviation and supersonic flight, few phenomena capture the imagination quite like the sonic boom. This thunderous roar, a byproduct of an object breaking the sound barrier, has long been a source of fascination and, at times, controversy. But what exactly is a sonic boom, and how does it come to be? When was the first sonic boom recorded? And what modern-day vehicles are capable of producing this awe-inspiring phenomenon? Let's delve into the science behind this remarkable occurrence and explore its rich history and impact on the world of aviation. At its core, a sonic boom is the result of an object traveling through the air at a speed greater than the speed of sound. As an object approaches and exceeds this critical velocity, it generates a series of shock waves that coalesce into a single, powerful pressure wave. This wave, traveling at the speed of sound, creates a sudden and dramatic change in air pressure, which our ears perceive as a loud, explosive sound, the sonic boom. To understand the mechanics behind this phenomenon, we must first grasp the concept of the sound barrier. Sound waves are essentially disturbances that propagate through a medium, such as air, at a specific speed. This speed is determined by the properties of the medium, including its temperature, density, and composition. At sea level and standard atmospheric conditions, the speed of sound in air is approximately 761 miles per hour, 1,225 kilometers per hour. When an object such as an aircraft travels at subsonic speeds below the speed of sound, the pressure waves it generates can disperse outward in all directions, creating a continuous and relatively gentle disturbance in the air. However, as the object approaches and exceeds the speed of sound, these pressure waves can no longer propagate outward at the same rate, causing them to merge and form a single, concentrated shockwave. This shockwave, traveling at the speed of sound, creates a sudden and dramatic change in air pressure, which our ears perceive as a loud, explosive sound, the sonic boom. The intensity of the sonic boom is determined by several factors, including the size and shape of the object, its speed relative to the speed of sound, and the atmospheric conditions at the time. While the concept of breaking the sound barrier had been theorized and explored for centuries, the first documented instance of a sonic boom occurred on October 14, 1947, when Chuck Yeager, a test pilot for the United States Air Force, became the first person to fly faster than the speed of sound. Yeager was piloting the Bell X-1 rocket-powered aircraft, which was designed specifically to investigate the challenges of supersonic flight. As Jaeger's aircraft accelerated beyond Mach 1, the speed of sound, it generated a powerful sonic boom that was heard and felt by observers on the ground. This historic event not only marked a significant milestone in the field of aviation, but also ushered in a new era of research and development focused on understanding and mitigating the effects of sonic booms. In the decades that followed, sonic booms became an increasingly common occurrence as the development of supersonic aircraft accelerated. However, the loud and disruptive nature of these booms also sparked public outcry and led to the implementation of strict regulations governing supersonic flight over populated areas. Today, a wide range of vehicles, both military and civilian, are capable of generating sonic booms. However, due to the potential for disturbance and damage, the use of these vehicles is often heavily regulated and restricted to specific areas and conditions. One of the most well-known producers of sonic booms is the military aviation sector. Many modern fighter jets and bombers are designed to operate at supersonic speeds, making them prime candidates for generating sonic booms. Some notable examples include F-22 Raptor. This advanced stealth fighter jet is capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 2.25, well beyond the sound barrier. F-35 Lightning II, the F-35 is a multi-role combat aircraft that can achieve supersonic speeds, creating sonic booms during high-speed maneuvers. Eurofighter Typhoon, this twin-engine multi-role fighter has a top speed of Mach 2, allowing it to break the sound barrier with ease. Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's latest stealth fighter jet is capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 2, generating sonic booms during supersonic flight. Dassault Rafale, this multi-role fighter aircraft can achieve speeds of up to Mach 1.8, making it a potential source of sonic booms. While less common, there are also a few civilian aircraft that have the capability to generate sonic booms. These include 
Concorde, the iconic Concorde supersonic passenger jet, which was in service from 1976 to 2003, was capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 2.04, creating sonic booms during its transatlantic flights. Tupolev Tu-144, the Soviet Union's answer to the Concorde, the Tu-144 was a supersonic passenger jet that could reach speeds of up to Mach 2.35, generating sonic booms in the process. X-59 Quest ST, NASA's X-59 Quest ST is an experimental aircraft designed to test technologies that could reduce the intensity of sonic booms, potentially paving the way for overland supersonic flight in the future. It's important to note that while these vehicles are capable of generating sonic booms, their use is often heavily regulated and restricted to specific areas and conditions to minimize the impact on populated areas in sensitive environments. As the pursuit of faster and more efficient aircraft continues, the challenge of mitigating the effects of sonic booms remains a significant area of research and development. Scientists and engineers are exploring various techniques to reduce the intensity and disturbance caused by these powerful pressure waves, including the use of specialized aircraft designs and advanced materials. One promising approach is the development of low boom or quiet supersonic aircraft, which are designed to minimize the intensity of the sonic boom through careful shaping and aerodynamic optimization. NASA's X-59 Quest experimental aircraft, mentioned earlier, is a prime example of this effort, aiming to pave the way for overland supersonic flight without the disruptive effects of traditional sonic booms. Additionally, researchers are investigating the use of advanced materials and structural designs that could help dissipate or redirect the shock waves generated during supersonic flight, further reducing the impact of sonic booms. As technology continues to advance and our understanding of supersonic flight deepens, it is likely that we will see a continued evolution in the way we approach and manage sonic booms. Whether through innovative aircraft designs, advanced materials, or novel noise mitigation techniques, the goal remains the same, to unlock the full potential of supersonic flight while minimizing its impact on the environment and communities below. The sonic boom, a thunderous roar that has captivated and at times unsettled observers for decades, is a remarkable phenomenon born from the relentless pursuit of speed and technological advancement. From its humble beginnings in the skies over the Mojave Desert to its modern-day manifestations in the form of cutting-edge military and civilian aircraft, the sonic boom has left an indelible mark on the history of aviation. As we look to the future, it is clear that the quest for ever faster and more efficient aircraft will continue, and with it, the challenge of mitigating the effects of sonic booms will remain a priority. Through innovative research and development, we may one day witness a world where supersonic flight is not only possible, but also seamlessly integrated into our daily lives, free from the disruptive effects of these powerful pressure waves. Until then, the sonic boom will continue to captivate and inspire, reminding us of the remarkable achievements of human ingenuity and our unwavering pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of aviation.